Okay, let's let's start. Let's begin with the pink. Okay, first E I'm taking yellow ochre. Okay. The yellow ochre paint. And then fourteen size flat brush I'm taking. I'm diluting the color with more water. Okay, I'm diluting the color with more water. And then I started giving the first wash. So the your sketch, what you did should be visible. So please use more water, dilute the color properly, and then apply. Take bigger size brush for the first wash. So the first wash, why we are doing is to cover the white space, all the paper whites. Okay, my first wash is almost complete. I'm leaving it to dry. Okay, we'll be having some time. Please do it, you can do it a little fast. And then it also should dry fast. Yes, if you don't have yellow ochre, you can use any dark or medium shade such as the light red or burnt sienna. The lemon yellow will be too bright. 
can use any medium color just light red or burnt sienna or any lighter brown shade you can use okay yellow ochre will be best but if not yes don't worry we will we'll be having other option as well okay you are having only yellow you don't have any other colors then what all colors you have yes burnt sienna you can apply also you can apply the light red which is the acrylic only acrylic light red Okay, I'll wait for some more time. I hope you guys are doing applying the colors properly. I can see some of your works. Yes, going good. All good. Yes, Adrika H. Gowda has already finished. and one more thing please don't don't use too much water and make your sheet full wet it takes so much time to dry please mix the colors properly inside the palette and then apply Okay, I'll wait for another two minutes. Okay, so let's start. Yes, all of you ready? Still doing? Okay. Okay, no problem. Another two minutes, I'll give. Sorry, what I wanted to say is if you guys have the bigger brushes, it would be easier. We always recommend you guys to use the bigger brush, medium, and 
zero or one point brush, right? If you're using one point brush for this background color, it will take some time. So please use the bigger brush, okay? It has to be a flat brush. We will keep it on the table, on the, on the table. That is how big the, uh, the brush should be. Then it would be easier. Shreyas, if you can just place the brush on the table for all the children to look at it. Yes. I use brush number 14, flat size brush, or any other bigger size round brush is also fine. Yes, the work will be much, much faster. Okay, so just be, just be, you know, this is the knowledge. This is where you guys are understanding what size brush to use and when to use them. And most importantly, the paper that you are using, this has to be what we have recommended. Otherwise, what happens is as soon as you put the water, the paper will become soggy, right? Be careful on those things. That's it. I think another 30 seconds to just to cover the background and then we should be able to get on to the next step. Yes. So shall we start the work? Yes. Okay then. Let's let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. I'll be taking the Persian blue. and black. So when you're taking black, don't use too much color of black. Just take it a very little paint, then mix it with Persian blue. So when you apply the direct Persian blue, it becomes blue. So just to make it darker, take a very little black and mix it properly. So now I'm giving for the wings, the dark shade.
and the markings of the feathers what we did here i'll just leave it as it is and then continue then other side of the wing as well do the same and then with the seven size brush which is little smaller than that the patch what we did on the face you're just covering it with the darker shade what we mixed with portion blue and little black not doing the eyes so here it is okay simple and then here the pattern which we did for the feathers here also I'm making it dark just make it little curve shape like the feather shape Please keep any napkins or tissues. If any mistakes, you can quickly just take it off. Okay. So I'll quickly just show you the blending part of two colors. So I'll be taking the yellow ochre and permanent yellow deep. Which is like the orange shade. just keep the colors here so that you don't get confused I'm not taking too much of water so i 
as you can see here, just applied the permanent yellow key, which is orange. Then the yellow ochre. And together, slowly, when you take the water and the color and apply it, you can see the blending part here. Yes, slowly from yellow ochre to orange. And the blend with orange again, I'll be taking the burnt sienna. I'll keep it here. And I'll just apply the color on top. And then taking the orange color again, Slowly mixing it up. You have to mix the colors when it's wet. You have to make a little faster when you are blending the colors. See, as you can see the colors, the gradient blendings here. Okay. So that blending techniques we are using in the board. So I'm just applying the darker shade of orange. And to make it little darker orange, as I showed you the technique, you can take the burnt sienna and mix it for that. And then also for the beak. Which is very light orange. And so on. And mixing it with the yellow. See how the colors are blending. Slowly from yellow to orange shade. Then adding little white for the yellow ochre.
So now I'll be taking the black and white. I'll show you again the blending part. It's black. I kept the colors here, black and white. And slowly when you start giving the white shade, becomes the gray color. You take more white and then start coming down. You can see the blending part slowly from dark to light. Okay. The one is darker, medium tone, and light tone. Okay. So we'll be doing, we'll be applying the gray color for the feathers. I'm adding gray color only for the feathers. And here, wherever we left the space, there I'm filling with gray. I'm just taking it slow and making it easy for you guys. And the leg part is also gray. As we can't see the full leg part, the great horn bell sitting on the branch. as I showed you the blending technique, please use it for this. Okay. And then mixing little orange for the yellow as we did here, I'll be doing the same for the neck part. can see the difference of the background and the neck part here as I mixed a very little orange and blending.
Oke. And then with the zero size brush, just a dot for the eyes. Okay, I just left the background as it is and just a dot and with the same zero size brush I'll keep the outline of the pattern which we did as the feathers Just the random patterns. You don't have to do it exactly as I'm doing. And just the lines so that it looks like a feather. With a zero size brush, you'll get it like this, thin lines. And I'm making it a little dark under this white for those that black really stands out, right? Easy. Same on the other side. And then just to show some difference on the wing, two different wings, I'll be taking little white and mixed with the Persian blue and applying to the center like this. And you can see the highlight part which I did it will be gives you the highlight and darker shape as you can see the difference between two different wings just mixing little white for the color which we did the darker shape so it will be the highlight
I'm taking it very, very slow. Please observe properly what all I'm doing and how I'm applying the colors. Again, I took the zero size brush. Just the lines, thin lines. And it's if you give the feathers lines like this, it will be even more detailing and realistic as well. So I won't be taking too much time for that. This is optional. You can try if you want or leave the white as it is. See, I got the thin lines, okay? Let's move on to the next step. I'll be taking the outline, thin outline of this as well, the neck part, and then the peak. Okay. Careful when doing the beak has to be very thin like fine line Okay, as we finish the corn bill, let's let's do the tree branch. I'll be taking burnt umber. Okay, I'll be taking the burnt umber color, which is the darker brown and then with the brush number seven Just making it darker shade of brown for the trees. Don't use too much of water for this detailing. Just a random tree pattern here. And it goes like thin. Okay. This is how it looks like. As you can see, it's looking like the realistic branch. And then using the same blending technique, which I showed you as I mixed very little white for this brown and only giving the highlight. Wherever is required. As you can see the highlight part here and the dark part here.
just with two different colors. And let the select part be little on the branch so that as you can see it's actually sitting on the branch okay Now I'll be taking cobalt blue. And white color. For the background sky. And again, I'll take the bigger size brush. It will be faster and easier. Just to fill the back. keep the colors here i took more of cobalt blue and mixing it with light Okay, here we go. I just took more of white and very little cobalt blue. And then careful and don't get edges. I took more of white and very little cobalt blue. See the bigger size brush really it's faster and easier. Well, if you guys are having more time, you can do the detailing. As I'm quickly finishing with the background. And then as you can see, I took even more white.
So the sky is lighter on top. just by taking a little more blue you can really do the gradient effect as i showed you the technique using the same technique But just be careful when doing at the edges of the bird. That's it. See, when you take the bigger size brush and move your brush a little fast, the color really blends so nicely. Okay. Now I'll be taking the medium size brush. To fill inside the branch. Okay. And then with the same size brush, taking the darker brown, which we used for the tree,
I'll be adding some more branches for that. The continuation of this branch. Only with thin brush. Okay. And as you can see the two different colors of this brown, this one is highlight. Okay then. Time to remove the masking tapes. I hope you really enjoyed the class. So let me just remove slowly. Here we go. The painting is done. You can you can really add even more detail in if you want. As I showed you all the techniques how to do. Okay, so very quickly, has anybody finished the, uh, the painting work, who wants to show it, or who has any quick feedback that you want to share in the yes, chat? We can take the questions if they want. Yeah, we also can take the questions. Okay. So anybody wants to go with, uh, with the feedback first, put it in the chat box. We will... Uh, Unmute you. What do you think about the class, Jigisha? Sir, I love the class today. Is how it was saying that it was making that the nature is very beautiful with the bird if you add it. Cool. Okay. Thank you so much. Swasti, do you want to share something? So today's class was interesting and today's class was interesting and I could uh, learn new techniques and I will surely try to do how so has that. Okay, good. Thank you. Definitely want to look at uh, what uh, Sejal and Yatarth have done. 
I'm trying to look at you guys. There you are. So, Yadart, if you want to share something. Uh, so, okay. So, I'm yet in the progress of my homebrew. Wonderful work. Wonderful work. Like, really, really admirable. I know, I know painting is one of your strengths and you have improved in that area. Good to see this. Uh, please, we will be here for some more time and I'm sure if you have any questions to ask. Okay, then I'll just quickly show you the final finishing touch-ups you want to add. Viva and Viper, I'll come back to you. Sorry, yes, yes, go ahead, please, sorry. Okay. I'll be taking the zero size brush and I'll be taking only the white color for the final touch-ups and just a dot for the eyes. Above this black dot. Then using with the same round zero size brush, you can add the feather lines. As we did the gray here, you can clearly see the white color on top. These are just the detailing part. If you just do this white lines only on one side, it becomes the highlight part. As we did gray color first, you can see the white here. Okay, that's it. These, these are the just final touch-ups I just showed. Okay, this is where we are ending the classes, everybody. We will take the questions. If you guys have any questions, first let's uh, let's look at uh, Viba and Vibov's work as well. And if you guys have any feedback, quick feedback that you want to share. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, this class was really interesting, sir. Um, this class was really interesting. Okay, that's that's good. Any Anything? Okay, first I want to like ask... Unique, sir. Yes, we want to ask you this question. What do you think? Which area do you think you need to improve? Looking at the work, what you have done, and I will tell you my feedback as well. Sir, sir, what I am working on, I want to make this color blue, it is not blue. Okay, okay, fair enough, good. Sir, for me, uh, like Shreya said, said that uh, feather, feather technique. Uh -huh. Yes. The detailing part, right? Yes, sir. The good observation, that's where it plays. You guys are able to see where you need to improve, which is a good thing. Yes. I really appreciate, I really appreciate yes. the work that you both have done. The presentation also very good. The borders, uh, I'm noticing uh, you've used the masking tape, so hence the clean borders. Very good work, Vibhav. Keep it up. Yes, Vibhav. Thank you, sir. Yes, Viva, you were you were saying something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, my my feedback about this is this class is very nice and interesting, all unique, and uh, I made this is my. Yes, absolutely, one hundred percent. Like you have observed, first of all, I like the work that you have done, Viva. Keep it up. Really, really, yes. really appreciate that. Second thing, as you have observed. You need to cover some more blue. Take a darker blue, right? And cover the background and it looks beautiful. And, and detailing part, guys, we will learn in each classes and going forward, we will keep emphasizing on the detailing part. Uh, quick question to Viva, which size brush did you use for the branch? Uh, sir, I used a, a small pointed brush. Like... Okay. Fair enough. One. Okay, good. Fair enough. Good work, Viva. Keep up the good work. Okay, and, sir. Um, we shall see you in the next class. See you guys in the next class. Thank you so much. Here we are. We're ending the classes.